Team of the season, make sure to use Dirty at checkout 15% off. Even coinzone.com, the links are in the description. And wait, if you want some codes, G2A's got the hookup, they got the games as well. Dirty is always gonna hook it up. Let's roll! Yo, what's happening, my beautiful people on YouTube? And today, we have the ultimate FIFA defending tutorial. I put in a lot of time to gather these clips and then a lot of editing. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. If you enjoy this format, please drop a thumbs up. I want to hit at least 1,000 to 1,500 likes because this video took hours on hours on hours and I'm hoping it hits home, that it connects with you guys. Also in the comments, make sure to hit me with some feedback. Let me know what you think because FIFA 17 is only a few months away as well and I want to make sure that I have the most ideal format in terms of bringing you guys tutorials and tips all that FIFA goodness. I've got two quick disclaimers before we jump into all the clip analysis and breakdowns. Number one is I've been messing around with different camera views so in this video you're gonna see a few different camera views in terms of gathering those clips. As for the second disclaimer this tutorial is not designed for someone who's never jockey, someone who's never used the double team command in FIFA. In fact, it's it's probably more of an advanced tutorial for defending. It's got some beginner classic material in there, but I'm going to link in the description as well as the comments my other tutorials. Please check the playlist. If you're looking for additional tutorials on defending, especially if you're more on the beginner or the novice side, don't worry. I've done those tutorials. I've got your back. But this one, oh yeah. Let's go. Is it sunny on a Thursday, my friends? Because apparently it's sunny in Philadelphia. We're talking about quick tactics to get things underway, to get situated. And this is where you're using that directional pad and you got options. Basically, you're looking at the offside trap and team pressing. Team pressing, a little more aggression. It's good when you're chasing a game, you team it up with a mentality switch, maybe from balance to attacking. And woo, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Guess what you've got? You've got a hybrid that's going to do some damage. And the offside trap is very relevant as well. If your opponent's passing the ball around the back at the end of the match, oh, offside trap every time because it's going to bring up your back line which then brings up your midfield that then brings up your strikers and you're going to be able to make them a little uncomfortable now we're getting the mentality i showed the other quick tactics with attacking but that's not necessarily what this video is about i just wanted to showcase it one time but mentality another thing with the directional pad you start on balanced and you can move it around i like to play on defensive it works out well for me. For my play style, I like to sit back. If you play formations like the 4-4-2, the 4-3-3-5, the 4-2-3-1, a balanced or defensive is a good look. Now, if you want to go a little more attacking, balanced or attacking, uh, high aggression, high pressure people, you're usually using formations such as the 4-3-2-1, the 4-3-3-4, the 4-3-1-2. You are looking to have that YOLOism at its finest. Do you feel me? Do you understand? Of course you do. And now understanding squads, and I've never put this into a video. I've never done a breakdown quite like this. So if you enjoy, let me know. And what I'm looking for when I'm looking at my opponent's squads, you're all Division One teams that I played against, is their tendencies. So he's got Jervinho, he's got Salah. I know Salah cuts inside. I know Jervinho, he's not going to score good goals. He can't shoot from outside the box. Second team, they got no four-star skillers up top. I'm making that mental note. And De Bruyne is the wild card. I got to be careful with De Bruyne. He's going to make things happen. He's going to shake it up in the midfield. I don't want to deal with those types of problems. That's not a good situation for me. That 4-5-1 squad, don't recommend that formation, but he's the lack of long shooting. Hesse, Jesus Navas, Sergio Biscuits, nah, and his midfield is small. We're going to bully him around. Ah, but then we've got this type of squad. You see it a lot in Division One with Suarez, Neymar, Gareth Bale, six that can score. Midfielder speed is not amazing, but everybody is capable that's on the pitch. So you've got to make that mental note as you're going into matches. We have the sideline jockey. It's a classic portion of defending. Jockey is not a difficult technique, and basically your opponent's running out of options. It happens often, almost every single match. He's going to try to cut in with a skill move. The Berber spin, unfortunately, is getting overused. I remember this skill like it was yesterday. It used to be so much fun, but with the way that defending has become so powerful and this has become very predictable, too many people are doing it now that it's being anticipated every day of the week. Uh, that it just doesn't have the value it once did. And you're just going to sit tight. 
And you've got low odds here of completing a cross. That's why I showcased that. So I'm going to guess. I'm going to assume that we're going to the middle then. I am not going to take away your cross. And as you get in higher divisions, your opponents, guess what? They're trying to do less random shit. They don't want to be a part of the random club. They value their possessions. And attacking someone's first touch, I can't stress this enough. Uh, often, if you get beat on a through ball, just sit back for a second and wait for your opponent to try to take down either the chip through ball, the ground through ball, the driven pass, and then pounce as if you had been going on five, six dates with a girl and she's finally going to let you get involved. You got your hand in the cookie jar and it's a good chocolate chip cookie. You're pumped up for this. Might even put it in the oven. This is a terrible analogy, but you understand what I'm saying. Be efficient, be smart, and, and utilize each one of these circumstances. And people often go in with a full head of steam, too aggressive, especially versus through balls, uh, and you get beat. You lose that 50-50, you give up a goal, and then you're in big trouble. You're playing comeback, and it's not going to always be comeback season. This isn't the next rap album. Somebody's rap album, I think, said something about having a comeback season. Uh, now with the bump and grind. Pretty simple. You're just going to use the tackle command uh, when you're in a 50-50 scenario, especially with your center backs or even full backs. You can really muscle the majority of wingers and even central midfielders, as long as they're not a power guy. And I wanted to show you guys that you can score goals from having a good defensive uh, approach play, all right? A good defensive stop. You're able to then counterattack. You're able to create attack. If you are struggling for attacking, but your defense is good, you're going to still win a lot of matches. Like, look at these weight room examples. People are getting bodied all over the pitch, and that's what I like to see. And if you pick up a foul in the majority of these situations, it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's not going to score a goal from there. You broke up the play. He's not going to get through. You sent a message. You let him know you're not scared. And now through ball manipulation. It's very interesting what EA's done with through ball. So basically, it's more about how the defenders are positioned to where that through ball is going to end up. Uh, I think it's actually a mistake with EA's AI and just maybe some of the coding. But if you've ever wondered why your through balls don't hit your oncoming strikers, they go too far ahead or just the wrong direction, it could be your opponent's defensive positioning. It very much so dictates what's happening and when it's gonna happen. Now you got the track back, baby. I think most people are, are very aware of using the midfield at this point in FIFA. Bring them back. Let them help you, all right? Let them help you. Keep your shape, keep your form. If you can get center mids, to make tackles or to break up plays or to make things a little more predictable it gets easier on you this makes it where you can sit at home and you can eat ice cream and watch netflix and, and really chill really chill if you got ice cream that made no sense either i don't know where i'm going on some of these a you know, little side note here a little side note there but i'm giving you that content now i love this I call it the cover two. If you play Madden, if you watch American football, it makes a lot of sense. But you can have one player cover two positions and you can bait your opponent. You can bait your opponent into having to make a tough call. And he's got to pass it in between you. He's running out of options. And he doesn't know what you're anticipating. He doesn't know what you're going to guess. If you're someone like myself, where I like to steal passes, this is my bread and butter. This is my biscuits and gravy. This is my ham and cheese. Or I guess a grilled... A grilled cheese would be even better. But yeah, I love everything about the cover two. I've got a bunch of examples where you can use one midfielder, one defender, even one striker if it's kind of one of those circumstances where he's trying to move the ball around on the back. Look at that. Uh, and you can do so much with it. It's a very versatile role. And if you're good at anticipation, this could be a game changer for you. Your entire defensive approach play could shift if you truly understand how to bait somebody mmm percentage play and if you're someone who takes logic into consideration you're gonna love this facet of FIFA it's a great way to think about defending where could my opponent hurt me worse where can he get an easy opportunity where are my big mistakes on the pitch right now where is their open space and that's what you're seeing here on the freeze frame look at all that space he's got supporting runs I don't like that we're gonna step up we're gonna step across we're gonna anticipate you cannot play passively in FIFA 16 17 18 19 it just doesn't work at some point that will not get you 
any bit farther. People that are stuck in Division 2, II, Division 3, Division 4, a lot of them have a very passive defense. And it's got them somewhere. You're not in the bottom portion of, of the FIFA dwellers, no. But you're not going to be able to dominate Division 1 without being able to either produce a lot of pressure or pick and choose your times. That's what I try to do. I am uh, a very laid back defender. I'm looking for traps. I'm trying to anticipate triangles that you're trying to put together. If you're a tiki tock tiki player, that works good for me. I like that. I know I'm going to guess a few of your passes. We're going to get some counter attacks. As you can see on screen, the veteran foul. This just means when you're using those slide tackles, you either get the ball or you wipe out that opponent. Make sure that that counter attack is stopped. And it's a little bit of a cheesy tactic. I'm not saying I promote it heavily, but it does make sense in FIFA 16. You're not going to make friends. You might get a lot of messages. However, is it going to work? Could it increase your win percentage? Yes, absolutely. And I, d I decided at the end of this video just to show you guys, I I'm going to call it a combo uh, analysis where you're going to see me shift the defense in, in just different circumstances and I wanted to show this because sometimes even if you do the right thing you don't overtake possession right away you might have to shift or go through a, a few shifts so in switching players here there some more around the corner whatever you might have to do it in that way until you get the ball you got to stuff the box a little bit and that's just how FIFA works there's so much bounce back in FIFA uh, 16 or rebound, whatever you want to call it, but it's very unfortunate, it's frustrating, and you can't quit on a play, and this deals with composure, as you see a lovely counterattack. So I just wanted to showcase a few different circumstances, show you guys who I'm defending, the switches that are being made, what I'm trying to stop. You can see I'm trying to take the correct angle when people are cutting inside as well. I want to block the pass or the easy shooting angle. I want you to do something that I haven't seen, all right? Do something that I know is a little bit out of the ordinary. I like that. That's always going to be good to me. But if you guys enjoy everything, uh, remember to subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have a lot more coming for you ASAP, ASAP.